This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Audible. Coming up, we've got another TV premiere to take a look at. It's the found footage series, The River. And welcome to the Totally Rad Show. We've got a great week for you. Today, we're going to be talking about the new TV series, The River, from uh, Oren, what's the guy's name? Oren, Oren Pelly, Pe- Pelly, who yeah, uh, brought us the, uh, the uh, uh, paranormal activities. And then tomorrow is the Valentine's. Mm. So we're going to woo. We are attempting to woo through cooking. Yep. Woo pea pies. <laughs> woo! <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and then on Wednesday, we're gonna chat about the trailers that came out at the Super Bowl and a couple thereafter. Yes, Thursday we are back for video games, uh, talking about the RPG hack and slasher. I don't even know if you'd call it a hack and slasher. The new RPG named Kingdom of Amalur, Amalur Reckoning. Reckoning. Uh, of course, uh, by uh, Kurt Schilling, randomly put this all together as a baseball player who went, I like video game. Me make you do one. He does. He does. Put together a really good team too. And then Friday, uh, it's movie time. It is a uh, a true marine movie by the title of Men of Valor. No. No, it's Act a of secret Valor. No, world of, it's a secret, secret world of variety. Of variety. Active That's Actors next tomorrow. Week. That's next week. I mean, next week. week. Sorry. I was Secret so world scared. Of I know. I went, I, went, I, went, I went, was there underwater stuff in that movie? <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you wake up going and I was like, I'm, uh, oh, no. I'm crossing time streams. Yes. Yes. Next week we're talking next about week, that. Next week you'll hear him probably this say is, that same uh, thing. This is Miyazaki's uh, 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 Ghibli. Studio Ghibli, Ghibli movie. Ghibli. Yep. Correct to Mundo. Yep. Uh, amazing background, by the way. Yeah, this is from, obviously, starring Dan as Turbocharge. As Turbocharge, TC. From a Twitter question, if you do not know what we're talking about, you need to go back and catch up on some TRSs because Dan gloriously revealed that his new nickname is Turbocharge. Not new nickname. Old Old nickname that has been resurrected. Old nickname that has been resurrected. And, of course, uh, Jake Mesrick sent this in. Mesrick, Jake Mesrick. That's what I said. Jake Jake is glorious. That's what I said. (laughs) That's what I said. And, it's awesome, uh, dude. You gotta read. All, you gotta read all the details because it's, really it's, it's directed by people and <laughs> starring people. And, I love uh, it. I think if I started this people. movie, I would have my last name be Wilson. So it was Dan Trachtenberg as Turbocharged Wilson. Did you see oh, Alex's boy. Manana Productions? Oh, amazing. And uh, what was the other cool thing that we saw? Uh, I mean, we could just look right at it. Yeah, it's a film by Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pretty great. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do some more amazingness. We are back in TV. We're talking about the uh, new ABC series, The River, uh, from the creator of Paranormal Activity, Oren Pelly, uh, and executive produced by Steven Spielberg. The River follows a group of People. naturalist television series f- filmographers who, back in like the 80s, their star naturalist guy, um, host, television host, was lost in the Amazon, uh, and then flash to nowadays, his beacon starts again, and so his family mounts a second go at uh, a television series-funded um, trip down the Amazon to find the lost husband and family members of the previous trip. Because of the fact that it's from the Paranormal Activity guys, it is a found footage television series. Very interesting concepts. Uh, so basically, you're seeing through the eyes of this uh, television uh, group, as it were, horror genre, mystical horror, kind of a, an experience. Uh, Jeff, what did you think? You loved Paranormal Activity. I did. Thought it was one of the best movies you'd ever seen, period, in your uh, review. Uh, yeah, I, it's certainly one of my favorite. I think it's in my top two or three, top five horror, horror movies, movies ever. Yeah. yeah so I'm what did you think fan. of The River? It's actually pronounced The River. Uh, well, first of all, First of all, I need to go off on a rant a little bit about found footage. Okay. Because I went into this a little bit in our review of Chronicle. Uh, found footage is not the right answer to every question. Mm. And that is a major problem. It's a, it's a major problem for me. And here's the thing. Blair Witch is sort of the, the brought into vogue a little bit the idea of this found footage thing. And the reason Blair Witch did it was they were really trying to pull a trick on the audience and say, this is real. 
Right. This is really found. Right. And it was effective in that in that yeah. way. It was very popular and and ushered in this whole thing. Now, paranormal activity uses found footage in a way that's very clever and very effective because all of paranormal activity, one of the biggest things that it's about is what you can and cannot see. It, it, is, it is a static image most of the time, although the third one they figured out some clever ways to make it not. But it's, it's about what's happening at the edges, it's about expectation. All those things are integral to the concept of paranormal activity. Mm. Now, now we're getting a whole bunch of these movies that are using found footage for no good reason. There is no reason that the river needed to be found footage. It is not additive to the experience. It's reductive. It, it, it takes something away from me. The river would be the same concept. It would be the same show. It would be the same idea <clears throat> told in a traditional way or shaky cam or whatever. But we don't need the conceit that we're watching this footage. We don't. And I think it would have been really interesting, actually, if they had had a show about... Because halfway through, we sort of find these tapes of the guy that was lost. Yeah. If we had a show that was relatively conventionally shot or told, and then we had a portion that was found footage because they find footage in the thing. Yeah. That would have been interesting. But to have to justify ad nauseum why the camera's on, to have people go, why are you shooting this? It doesn't add anything to the experience. Now, having said all that, I also don't think it's a very good show. I also don't think that if it wasn't found footage, I would really be in love with this show anyway. But I think it's already starting at a disadvantage being an unnecessarily found footage show. <clears throat> I don't think the characters are particularly interesting. We have massive cliches. We have uh, an entire character who's in... We've watched the first two hours of the right. show. And we have a character who is literally just the bad guy with the guns. And we know literally nothing else about him. We have the cliched, like foreign language speaking girl who's mystical for some reason. We have there's all these we have the cliched like black camera guy who I don't want to deal with this shit. You know, it's like it is <laughs> there we know all we know about like is every, this family. I know what you're saying, but every cliche you just said is not a cliche. Everything every character you just said, like you know, the typical girl who knows mystical stuff who speaks a foreign language like what what is that what, what cliche is that i feel like the I'm cliche the black cameraman i feel what? like that's always mm -hmm. that I, I was i feel like that's a, a thing that comes up a lot is like this alien girl or alien person or young child who is sort of different and weird and then that person can communicate with the i don't mean to harp on that i just it was funny that and then every everything you said after that was like that, whoa, that's a crazy thing that I don't. Yeah. The black, I don't know. I, know. I didn't really so enjoy didn't the like show the, very the much show. at all. I don't think the characters <clears throat> are particularly interesting. We know we know something about this family, but we don't know anything about any. Of the, all of them are bland and uninteresting yeah. people. And what happens is so it, it seems so contrived and <laughs> uninteresting to me. There are some really interesting visual stuff that happens as far as like finding the babies and all that, all the dolls yeah. and all that. Okay. I could take this. Dolls could was this. creepy. Daniel. Dolls was really creepy. Uh, monkey, monkey doll monkey head, doll head monkey was, doll head uh, that was great. The craziest that, thing that I've ever seen That deserves to be in a better show. I, I, um... <laughs> monkey doll head baby. That was crazy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. It was like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. It looked like a person. <laughs> but then it wasn't. It was all so... Right. It was in all the right places. Um... I, I didn't like the river that much, but it, it is, it is such an awesome premise. And it is such an awesome idea, um, and there were so many cool ideas in it, and it was so. I, while I agree with all with Jeff's overall feeling, I don't love. Well, actually, I, I can, no. I mean, I hear what you're saying, Jeff, but I I've loved most, not all, but most of the found footage movies I've seen, including um, Paranormal Activities, but also some some others, and. I, uh, and I and I think there could have been a good found footage TV show. That's why I was so excited about the show. Really, really excited. And and then when it opened on like the like crocodile hunter guy, mm -hmm. you know, then I was like, oh my god, this is so what a cool way into this. Um, but the weird thing is, the show isn't made. This is the thing, was Jeff. You could be right. This could have been shot like Friday Night Lights, like a documentary style show, and it could have been just exciting. Or it could have been made like a found footage movie. Unfortunately, I don't think the the structure of television making allows for that. So what we have is a regular TV show that is has the the costume of a found footage. Um, style of cinematography, I mm. guess. Because it's not, it, 
what, what makes a lot of the found footage movies so delicious is everything so, feels so extremely authentic. Yeah, you know, when right. people are really real and there's a sense of humor to the guy holding the camera and, the, the, and it's all improv, so everything just feels so much more authentic. But you're on right. this show, you're right. That's the yeah. problem. This doesn't feel like no, the not, Amazing Race because they're not. It should feel like the Amazing right, Race. Right. Right. Or yeah. Right. Exactly. It's just. It's just. You know, portrayed with security cameras and thing and angles that are, that theoretically could have been captured, but none of them heighten the tension. None of, mm. none of them bring anything to the storytelling. And what they really do is make a, the the scripts and the performances feel so much more false because they're not photographed in an immersive. It's not photographed in a way that it add, adds and, and gels and works with the performances. It, it yeah. works against it, which is something that Jeff was saying, too. It, uh, Did so, you like the... You, no, I didn't end up liking the show yeah. because it, it was <clears> so... It, it just... All, it was not executed yeah. well. well. But, the, I, but <clears> there, there's so much... There, it's unfortunate because there's a lot of great ideas in it. Yeah, yeah. And it's hard to pinpoint what went wrong because I don't know if the performances are not great. I, I want, because it might be of, of how they were filmed. That you know, it's, I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I'll tell you what's wrong. I know the answer. Yeah. I, I've I've thought about this. One, I really liked the river. I'm going to continue watching the river. I wow. find it very Surprise. fun and scary. Now I'm not a big found footage person. So, and I think there are a lot of. I have the exact same issues that you have. And I think what would have saved this show as far as people not being able to get through the found footage-ness of it, which is shoot it like a regular television show that happens to be following a camera crew and team on this adventure, just totally shot normal, and intersperse every once in a while exactly. with the footage from the cameras so that you get some of those, because some of those you know, shots in the security, foot, security footage, like when the first monster comes out, that's awesome, you know what I mean? The weird baby doll shots, that's awesome, you know what I mean? Like those work, where it doesn't work is when you're literally seeing a shot that could be straight out of Lost, gorgeous color, you know, gorgeous lighting design, everything, same frame, and then all of a sudden they have to do this. Oh right, remember, it's found footage. Yeah. That stuff pulls you out so much, but yeah. it's also the, not necessary. The last, the literally the last line of the first episode is, you know there's a camera right there. Yeah, I'm right. Like, Wow. That's the stuff where I think this, it, it starts to kind of fall apart. Now, now that said, even, even with through that, I was able to really have a good time and I'm, I'm very interested into the sort of mythology of what's happening and it's a very unique, in my opinion, a very unique kind of experience to be had of this sort of like, this adventure through the Amazon and with mystical things happening. But because there's mystical things happening, whereas, you know, with Lost, it's sort of like, oh, that's weird, that shouldn't be there. But with this, it's like, well, we know that shouldn't be there, but we also know that there's a whole bunch of cool magic stuff happening, so it's sort of cool. Um, but I really think that they could have shot this like a regular television show and include some of the footage from the security cameras, some from the cameras, the, the camera guy dropping the camera. You can add that little stuff in, and we wouldn't need to have that, you know, for me, the, hor the thing that I hate the most of this found footage thing is in, in 2012, this camera crew came together, here's the footage that was found. And it's like, I don't need Does that. Does it say that? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, the big top did. of the show, yeah. And I don't need that. And I'm worried that every week it's gonna start with, remember, it's a found footage show. And that could wear on me because I think I, I kind of forgave it a lot because I was really interested in what was happening in this, this sort of supernaturalness. And there was some genuine creepy crap. I mean, the, the doll tree was like, I'm, I don't want to be at the doll tree. Mm -hmm. I think the thing that Lost really got right, <laughs> and it got a lot of things wrong, but I think the thing that it really got right is that it, it realized that, yes, there's going to be crazy stuff happening, but in order for us to to really latch onto it, we need to care about these people and know who they are. Yeah. And have some kind of way into their stories. And in the first two hours of this show, I didn't care about anybody. And I didn't really get a lot of information about anyone outside the mother and the son mm. and the father. You know, like, I, it needs, it needs I to have bet, more I meat on the bone. that's the same as the pilot of Lost. I think that's all there on the page. Yeah. Pilot Lost, you know about you don't you don't get everyone's backstory in the pilot, do you? That's the whole first no, season but, is their backstory. Right, exactly. Yeah, but I I feel like I think it's I just have how to watch the pilot. But I feel like yeah. there's 
enough interesting things and it's like, oh, I've never seen that. Well, oh, that, ta- that guy woke up and he he was in a wheelchair and now he can walk and that that's was, crazy. That was and, six episodes in at least, yeah, maybe was, seven. Or, it was, I think it was the fourth episode that he is. That's, that's, that was, was no, don't we, we see Locke and his foot Twitches and he freaks out in the first episode. Yeah, but you never we have no know. Idea what that is. We That's just, just some guy like, going. Oh, yeah. well, my legs are about lost. But right. So no, no, obviously, obviously you guys. I think. Are not I think. Gonna... I, I, let me just add to that because there's it, lost a soap opera. I mean, I guess this does. Too, this is the thing. It's all there. It just isn't coming together for us. But because I did say, for me has, though. Has, I did. I did. I. That's what I said for us. Keep watching. When you said for us and then did this like circle. circle. That included. That included. That included me. I'm right here. Guys, I'm right here. He's he's in in that direction. So we'll check back in uh, with river with the river as it progresses. At least I will. I don't know about you guys, but we'll we shall see the river ABC. All right, everybody, be sure to stick around. We're going to be answering one of your Twitter questions right after this. But first, we want to thank our sponsors, Jeff Kanata. Audible.com is a great place to go. That's what I I heard. really, really, really dig the Audible.com. It's uh, it's pretty much the leading, the world's provider of uh, audiobooks, mm. spoken word entertainment. That means you can listen to a book rather than being able to, having to read it. Uh, you can have it spoken to you into your ear holes yep. so you can experience the joy of reading for pleasure while doing other things. Oh, Dan is still that's, awake, everybody. That's, re- that's reading. That's reading. That's reading. But if you but had audio holes, books, that's, if actually, only I was you'd be like this. <laughs> actually, I'm the opposite. I can like, you hear it happening? What I like best about it is that I'm able to be reading a book for realsies and having my audio book. So I'm like churning through double the books. Mm. So because I tend at the to, same time or? At the same time, because I tend to not read more than, read more than one book at a time, but I'll listen to a book and read a book Di- two, two different books. Different, different times. Yeah. yeah. No, I, not, thought, not, I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Oh, listen I mean, and read at the yeah, same yeah, time. Yeah, like cognitive, yeah. like you really get the book. Wow, I could good. actually do that. I mean, that no, would be really no good for me. Really. You, you could never do that. No. Why wouldn't you be able to do Because you'd probably be tweeting. It's like listening to it. It's like reading along with the teacher. And, and, <laughs> That's and exactly portrait. what it is. And the Anywho, teacher is doing history and you're writing a math book. If you want to try some kind of bizarro <laughs> no, just, combination oh, of all those things, oh, you should sign up for audible.com because they have over 100,000 titles to choose from. They have every possible sense. genre. They have amazing, amazing books. You could get lost on their website, as I often have, going, oh, I want to read that next. Oh, I want to read that next. Uh, you can just throw them onto your iPod or MP3 player. It's really cool. And then you can multitask and do other things or uh, doubly unitask. Uh, <laughs> Go to audiblepodcast.com slash totally rad and we will hook you up with a free audiobook to try this crazy wacky thing out mm. on your own. Uh, I think Dan should do it. Uh, I highly recommend the Steve Jobs book. It's on there. Uh, mm-hmm. Read very, very well and is... I'm, I was listening to that. Actually. Were you really? Yeah. Welcome. Were you also reading it at the same time? I, that was the mistake. I couldn't, I didn't get no. what's happening. All I need to do is audiblepodcast.com slash totally rad. Do it and you will be happy. Amazing. Also, make sure to check out jinx.com slash TRS. We got a ton of new swag up there. Uh, amazing stuff. Plus, if you want your backgrounds shown, fans at totallyradshow.com. Uh, send us a little email. We'll see you later. Join us tomorrow for Valentine's Day. Today's Twitter question comes to us from at Warren G1983. Strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, or charisma, which stat would you personally max out and why? Oh, it's a tough Jeff one. Canada. This is tough. It is a little tough. You think about it. Strength, now you're the super strong guy. You can pick it's up helpful. cars. It's helpful. That's very helpful. Dexterity, you, you're super nimble. You can whoop, you get a little bit of your, your uh, <laughs> Carol Prada. What's it called? Parkour. Parkour? Parkour. You can do stuff like this. Like, you can do stuff like that. Like, hey, hey. Parkour. Hey, hey buddy. Yeah, like, over wait, here. What? I, thought, I was me the whole oh. time. My dexterity got you. Clearly, you didn't max out intelligence because that would make you really smart. <laughs> Constitution, you can get beat up. and. Oh, dude, just like super giant guy. Or charisma. So what is it? You know, it's interesting because... Mm. What's the difference between intelligence you, and you, wisdom, guys? Well, one, one gives you magic and yeah. the other... <laughs> gives you book smarts. Yeah. Um, I... Uh, it's tough. It's you tough know, one. as you know, I'm not a very physical person. So a part of me goes, I, I, I bring to the table... It's, it's, it's funny because I'm thinking about the way I normally do in RPGs. I bring to the table some intelligence <laughs> and, <laughs> just and charisma, what? maybe? Some. <laughs> But what I really need help in, but I could be, I could definitely do better th- in those categories. Yeah. But what I really need help in is the physical aspects. Um, or do I want to go, I've already got a little bit of a head start in my yeah. intelligence and all that. So I could you know really, what you, be, you know what you could do. And I don't do really want to be physical in life. So I could, but I, I thought I about this. be physical in life. I would max out intelligence <laughs> because with, with great intelligence, I could become strong 
You know, I can figure out the math. No, that's not what it means. Not not what Absolutely. No. Think about Sean Combs. Like, Sean Combs is a genius, and then because he's a genius, he knows all the awesome strong. fighting moves. Yeah, but he knows he can study right. the art of weightlifting. Is, if you're strong, you study you're the art of weightlifting. If you're strong, I'm just, just looking through a book and be like, oh, I see how you do it. Oh, I can't lift that. <laughs> no, but you're you totally know the best workouts. I know. You, know that. you know the best workouts. All right. You well, figure Jeff, it out. you deduce what to do. No, very Dan logic. I like it. I was tempted by wisdom because being wise is actually being is a little bit better than being intelligent, I think. With a great intelligence, you can become wise. <laughs> so go on. Uh, but, uh, and, and charisma, I You've think, is the that. most useful. Mm. Uh, but I'm tempted to go dexterity. Interesting. Just because, uh, why not? I mean, you, you, if you, you fall, you won't get hurt. <laughs> That's very helpful. You, you, could, you could probably, you know, like, uh, Disarm traps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the funny thing is, you made the correct decision because I also am going to go with dexterity. And really? For this, yeah, for I the same you were reason. Even charisma. Well, but That's then why I didn't go when charisma. Dan said, uh -huh. I feel like I already have some charisma, I feel like I have a oh, good no, no. amount of charisma. You should have gone I have a good charisma. enough amount of <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> Constitution. But you're, an, you're an oaf. Uh, <laughs> but really, it would be super fun to be like the most agile person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Being able to do like crazy, like wall walky stuff, and you yeah. know what I mean? Like things that you know you need in your daily life. You could join Cirque du Soleil. Yay! That's a job. Thank you at Warren G 18, 1983. In light of that, I'm changing my to charisma. <laughs>